Hello folks and welcome to GED Microlearning. My name is Dr. MCR and this is GED Math Test 19. Question 1 is a basic arithmetic question that looks at fractions. Joe made $200 on tips the first month of work. If he makes one-fifth more on the second month and one-fifth more on top of that on the third month, how much money does he have the third month? All right, so this question is a little bit of a mouthful because it's um, you have to do it step by step in order not to get confused. So we know that on month one, Joe made $200 in tips. And then it tells us in the question that in month two, he made one-fifth more than that, okay? So in order to find out how much money he made, how much money more he made, you would multiply that 200 times one-fifth, and that gives you $40, okay? So at the end of month two, he has $240. And then month three, it tells us that on top of that money, okay, so on top of the $240, he makes another one-fifth on top of that, okay? So you would multiply $240 by one-fifth, and that gives you $48. So at the end of the third month, he has the $240 he started with plus that $48 extra he made for a total of $288. Your correct answer would be B. Question two is an applied arithmetic problem and it's useful because it has a graph to review. So let's quickly look at the graph first. So if you look at the pie graph, you can see that there are various different slices within that pie. Um, and each of these slices represents the money that is being spent on different um, household things, okay? So this person spends, if you look at the blue slice, 39% of his money on rent. He spends 22% um, on food, which is the green slice. He spends 17% on his car, which is the yellow slice, etc. The question says, Jake is paid a monthly wage of $2,500. The graph shows how he spends his budget. How much does he spend on rent? Okay, so what you would do here is you look at your graph again, and you look for the slice which represents the rent, which we said was the blue slice, 39%. And then we know that he gets paid $2,500. So if he's spending 39% on rent, you would multiply that by 39% or by 0 0.39, which is the same thing. And that gives you a total of $975, okay, which is 39% of 2,500. So your correct answer would be C. Question three is an algebra problem, and I like to always throw one of these in because you have to be really good uh, with these equalities and inequalities. So it's good, uh, you know, to be, as I said, agile with this. So here it says, solve minus five multiplied by x minus four is equal to minus three x. So to do this problem, the first thing that you wanna do is that you wanna use the distributive property. That means that you're going to take that minus 5 and you're going to multiply it by each of the terms inside your parentheses, okay, inside those brackets. So you would multiply minus 5 times x and you would multiply minus 5 by minus 4. When you do that, you end up with minus 5x plus 20, okay, because minus 5 multiplied by minus 4 would give you positive 20 is equal to minus 3x. So the first thing you want to do here is on the left side of your equation, you want to get rid of that minus 5 by adding a positive 5. And remember that whatever you do on the left, you have to do on the right, okay? Why are we doing this? Because if we add 5x plus minus 5x, that gives us 0, so we can cancel that out. And then when we solve this equation, it gives us 20x is equal to 2x. And the final step would be to isolate that x again, 
by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So you end up with x is equal to 10, which is option D. All right, question four is another algebra problem. And it says, the ticket prices for an event are $21 for adults and $7 for children. The box office sells 300 tickets. If the total box office receipts were $3,500, how many adult tickets were sold? All right, so the wording of this problem makes it a little bit tricky. So let's take it step by step. So we basically have no idea how many tickets we sold for adults or how many tickets we sold for children. So we're just going to say that the number of tickets that we sold for adults is X, okay? Because we don't know what it is. We do know that the box office sells 300 tickets. So if we wanted to know how many children tickets we sold, we would simply subtract that 300 minus the adult tickets, right? So that would give us the number of children's tickets, 300 minus X. All right, and then we would set up our equation like this. So if we look at the first term, we say 21X, where's that coming from? So that is that corresponds to the adult tickets, okay? So $21 is the price per adult ticket, and we said X is the number of adult tickets, which we don't know what it is. The second terms correspond to the children's tickets, okay? So $7 was the price for the child's, uh, for one child for a ticket. And then we said that 300 minus X was the number of tickets sold to children. And all of this is going to equal to 3,500, which is what was sold at the box office. All right, so now that you have to uh, set up your equation like this, um, what you would do is, again, um, use the distributive property. So you would multiply 7 multiplied by all of those items inside the parentheses. And this would give you 21x plus 2,100, okay? Because 2 times 300 is 2,100 minus 7x is equal to 3,500. All right, um, here what you want to do is, first thing, um, I would get rid of that 2,100. Uh, so by subtracting, so subtract 2,100 on the left, do the same thing on the right. And the reason, again, is because now we can cancel those two terms on the left. And if you subtract 21x minus 7x, that gives you 14x, is equal to... 1,400 on the right side. And now all that you have to do is divide that, excuse me, isolate that x by dividing both sides by 14. When you do that, it gives you 100. Okay, so uh, the number of adult tickets was 100. The final question is a geometry question, which looks at triangles. One angle in a scalene triangle measures 27 degrees, the other angle measures 55. What is the measure of the third angle? Okay, so a lot of people get really stressed with this because they think, oh my god, what's a scalene triangle? So what you have to remember is that whatever triangle you get, a triangle is 180 degrees, okay? So that means that all of the angles, the three angles, A, B, and C, are going to equal 180. In the question, they're giving you two of those angles, okay? So one of the angles we said is 27 degrees, the other one is 55, and they want us to find the third angle. So all you do is plug those numbers into your equation like this, okay? Um, then kind of tidy up, so you would say A plus 82 is equal to 180, and then all you do is solve for A, okay? So subtract minus 82 from the left side, do that on the right side, cancel those two terms on the left, and that leaves you with A is equal to 98, okay? So if you take those three angles, 98 plus 55 plus 27, you should get 180, which is the normal 
um, measurements of a triangle, okay? So your correct answer would be B. Okay, folks, I hope you found that useful. As always, thank you so much for your time. Thank you ever so much for watching. Stay positive and stay strong. Have a good one.